Hey, you guys, it's me, Danielle, here. It's very early in the morning, so if it sounds like I'm whispering, probably am. But anyways, I wanted to come on here and give this dream that I had actually yesterday on December 4th, 2023, when I woke up early in the morning. Well, not super early, but by the time I woke up, it was a long dream with many different things in it. But one thing that really stood out to me was um, when I was in this dream, it was like me and my child were walking on the sidewalk and it had um, it was a sunny day, kind of like grass outside and buildings. But this building that was highlighted when we looked over to our left, it was a big building. But in my dream, I referred to this big building as look at this big church, right? It was a big church and it had like this big old centerpiece that was like um, kind of like how you see like those water fountains that have brick around it where people make a wishing well, you know, kind of thing. But this is the best way I can kind of describe the circle. So the circle was like the circle type of I don't know. It's a circle type of statue is the best way I can describe it. But it had the cross, like the cross that most people wear that is represented in Christianity. It was huge and it was a big cross. It almost looked like it was wooden and it was laying sideways on top of the circle. Okay, this circle part, which was the base that was holding the cross. And I remember saying, look at this big church and look at all of these idols in my dream. And then it went into another part of the dream. Now, I know that the cross and different images, for example, are considered to be idolatrous in nature. And also, Yah, through the Holy Spirit and Jesus, Yehoshua HaMashiach, has forbidden against us making certain things that um, would be like what looks like it is in heaven or any images of the Lord, if you will. We're not to make graven images of any kind. But what also stood out was that he highlighted these churches in these big churches and I wanted to be clear that every single church that is out here is not a church that is from the most high Yah number one and a lot of these leaders which I have been highlighting a lot especially amongst Christianity or all religions if to be quite honest have they have a different spirit in them number one they're not in line with the holy spirit and they weren't appointed majority of these people and for most of these church buildings that are up now are 501c3 churches right that pretty much are a covering for many different things you have a lot of different scandals that are um, going on in churches or churches is being the umbrella to be the covering, if you will, for many different abominable things that are happening. You have people in these positions that are calling themselves pastors, priests, you know, and preachers doing some abominable sexual acts and perversion. You know, it's just the whole nine. But because, you know, they're supposed to be these authority figures in the church, they're held to a different you're supposed to hold them to a different regard because they're supposed to be in line with the Holy Spirit, anointed and appointed, supposedly, in doing the work and the will of the Most High Yah. And sadly, in this case, the majority of these people are doing their own will, and it has nothing to do with the Holy Spirit, nor, do they, nor have they ever been appointed, and nor are they even filled with the Holy Spirit, okay? But they use this church as a covering. And so when I woke up from that dream, I woke up knowing things that I already did know. But it was like y'all was looking at these things this way. Look at all of these idols because people will make and play church all day long. And that even goes for the people that are sitting in these churches underneath these individuals in their quote unquote coverings and listening to their twisted interpretation of scriptures okay and people majority of the people i should say that are teaching and leading are the blind leading the blind and they have been blinded okay and when we go back and look in scripture right as well 
Yah filled his people with the Holy Spirit and they were out here witnessing to people. Okay. Going from place to place, witnessing to people. All right. And so as it was then, so it is now. Okay. A lot of the Pharisees were in these, you know, buildings and having their own religious structures and traditions and their own doctrines that they were making again that weren't led by the Holy Spirit and they weren't teaching and preaching the true good news. And that's one thing that y'all has definitely been highlighting is that these people have made his house a den of thieves. Okay. And they're not teaching people the true good news. They're not teaching people right from wrong or anything like that. They're not teaching people the ways that are in that we should be walking, which is in righteousness and holiness. OK, in in helping to have y'all's people turn away from their sins and be repentant and to walk this straight and narrow path. Instead, we have the complete opposite happening around the world in these different denominations but i wanted to let some people know who are not as discerning that y'all is looking at these big churches and churches and these big old crosses in front of these churches and it's as i'm saying this i know i've driven past a church that has a cross kind of like that and it's like on the corner of a street that is huge and it's like a big church but Yah says these things are idols and people love their pastors and they make them idols. They love their church, their favorite church, just for socialization purposes and to look like they have a form of godliness, but they don't. And majority of the people that are sitting in majority of these type of places that are not speaking the truth, they have a form of god godliness, but deny the power thereof. So. I wanted to let some people know that wearing crosses on your neck, having images in your house and paintings of supposedly being Jesus and all these different things, they're considered idols unto Yah and idolatry. And we already know that Yah hates and detests any form of idolatry. And so when you look back through scripture and what the people were doing then, making graven images or, you know, um, statues and worshiping it. No different now. You have people in the Catholic religion over here kissing, you know, the feet of Mother Mary and, you know, worshiping these these idols and statues and teaching, you know, doctrines of men. When y'all is talking about doctrines of men, these people have taken scripture out of context and made their own religion and all these different denominations, their own teachings and their own traditions that have nothing to do with Yah in his ways. And we see this happening all around the world in this day and age. A lot of pagan religions, people following traditions of man versus setting themselves apart to be holy and walking in the ways of Yah, in which he shows you by the Holy Spirit. Please do not be deceived. Please do not be deceived because every person out here claiming to be speaking for Yah, teaching, preaching, edifying, exhorting, okay, is not speaking from the Holy Spirit. And when the Holy Spirit is leading and teaching you, he will probably more than likely give you a different understanding of revelation than what has been preached and taught out here by man. And I have to come back out here and give a um, word on baptism and what y'all have revealed to me about baptism and how even some of these things, right, and practices are traditions of man. But anyway, um, I hope that this message reached some people to help people to understand that we are right back where they were in time and is speaking to this generation as well of idolatry and how easy and simple some people have fell into idolatry without even knowing it. 
So if you're wearing crosses and stuff on your neck and having all this type of stuff in your house, you shouldn't be doing any of that because they're idols. And we're commanded not to even worship idols. Okay? And be mindful of where you're sitting. Okay? Because well, the Holy Spirit, excuse me, speaks to people on his own. He doesn't need a church building in order to lead and to teach you. He says his spirit will teach you alone, not a building. And I'm not trying to discourage people who are going to someone else to listen to them, but you should never be putting a pastor, teacher, leader, or any person before God himself to lead and to teach you when he does that alone by his spirit. So some people have idolized people, again, man, again, because these are mere men, preachers, leaders, teachers, pastors, priests, prophets, prophetess, idolizing people and what they have to say over what the Holy Spirit can tell you on his own. Okay? And that's where it becomes a slippery slope where we're looking to men. You'll be looking to men for answers versus going to y'all himself and asking y'all through prayer and asking for wisdom, discernment, and understanding to be able to know who's who, okay, and also just for your own life and what's the truth and what's not the truth, because when you ask for the truth, he's going to give you the truth, and I have witnesses myself, I can come out here and give some people some truth, but it is rejected, and now I understand what he means, like, you know, he can come out here and show you the truth, and the truth shall set you free, but some people reject the mere truth that you're giving them because it's out side of what they have learned, what they have been taught, which they have been preached to, and simply they just don't want to accept it. Their spirit rejects it. And that lets you know what spirit is in them. Because people who hear the good news that, you know, are Holy Spirit led and Holy Spirit filled and he's opened their eyes and ears to allow them to receive it, they will open their hearts and receive it, okay, as truth. And that's having faith and believing in the truth in the true good news and what was being taught and spoken versus some you try to go out here and plant the seeds and they merely reject it because they don't like the way that it sounds or they just don't want to agree with it and those are the things usually that are idols of their own heart and they love their idols more than the truth and that is the truth there's a lot of people right now that love their idols way more than the truth and I am a witness to that. And I'm telling you guys, if you don't know how to lay these idols down, lay these idols down before the Lord. Or if it's anything that you cannot lay down, you have to question yourself if that has become an idol to you before the Lord, which is a stumbling block to yourself. Okay? Shalom to you guys and take care.